Hello everybody and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video. I am Veos and I will be talking to you today, so just <laughs> fucking sit down and shut up and listen. So I've done a Star Raker video before, but I also had the restock mod, which made it look a lot prettier. But because restock mod actually messes around with the drag of parts and actually changes some of the physics from the parts, I had to unfortunately go back to just regular stock. So some of these pieces aren't as pretty as they were in the first video that I made this uh, Star Raker. But anyway, I went into the Star Raker hangar bay, or cargo bay, excuse me, not hangar bay, cargo bay. I mean, it could be a hangar bay if we had like little fighters come out of here but it's 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 neither here nor there anyway i made this thing bigger i widened it out i kind of hollowed it out some more and put in an entire space station because i think the payload that was in the last star Riker video months and months and months and months and months ago it was just a dead weight payload kind of a dummy dummy payload it didn't do anything it was just there to you know for basically to say hey it can carry stuff in the space but this go around i wanted to make something that was an actual real usable payload aka space station now i know that the star raker uses basically a larger version of the whiplash it supposedly is a ramjet engine and it, uh, can, you know i can't remember what the hell they were talking about but basically these were supposed to be uh ramjet breathing engines that were to help the craft go really really fast in atmosphere before it activated the actual rocket engines that were in the middle and then you had the maneuvering rocket engines that were on top unsurprisingly i wasn't able to use the whiplash in in this area of the craft because sadly they did not have enough oomph to even get this sucker off the ground fully loaded so instead of it being an air breathing ssto i just turned it into a rocket ssto now i know i could probably use the mod uh what's it called it's where you're able to resize parts can't think Think of it off the top of my head because i try to stay away from mods that change the physics of the stock parts because if i keep things stock then that means that everybody who's watching can follow along now granted i have both the, the dlcs but in my mind that's part of the game some may disagree with this but it's not a mod it's a dlc it's part of the game so i consider it as stock however if you want to get really 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 technical then i try to build with only stock and dlc parts how about that is everybody happy good moving on anyway so yeah a rocket ssto these are the vectors right here then we have a larger main sail then we got the tiny little swivels and inside the wings are just a bunch of fuel tanks lots of fuel tanks going straight across except for that hollow piece right there because i wanted it to look like the star raker i wasn't worried about efficiency as much as i was worried about aesthetics i wanted to i wanted it to look like the star raker so I didn't care if all this is dead weight. It just looks like the actual Star Riker. Wasn't going for efficiency on this one, was going for aesthetics. And I realized that all this right here is not actually on the Star Riker, but I liked it. It looked cool. End of story. Inside the nose cone is just a pop, pop, a butt ton of Mark I cockpit parts to kind of get that Star Riker look for the uh, cockpit, batteries, power, all that jazz. I know this back part looks a little funky, and that's because when I was using restock, it was a lot smoother looking but when I went back to stock it's not as smoother looking anymore but I think I did all this because of the fact that I was trying to get the center of thrust in line with the center of mass so I had to move some parts up and down just a little bit we take a quick look see under the hood that's what she looks like under those wings plenty of fuel lots of fuel I tried to make the wings carry most of the fuel however the back does have a large Kerbodyne fuel tank in the back but anyway I want to thank you all for being here and thank you so much for watching this Kerbal Space Program video, SSTOs. If you really
really, 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 really liked what you saw, please hit that like button for me. And if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program if you're interested. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges next to your name and whatnot. Pretty cool. Check it out. But anyway, love you all very much. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.